We're sitting here in Pottsville on the beautiful lands of Kujumbara people of the Bunjalung Nation and I have a really deep connection with this land. Even though I'm a Kamilaroi woman, I'm married to a Bunjalung man. There's connection to place, there's spiritual connection. I've lived on Darug country, I go back to Wiradjuri country. I want to make the ancestors proud and I want to be respectful to the traditional custodians of the land that we're meeting today. So I'm grateful for the Kuchibara people for taking care of this land. My name is Bianca Gardner-Dodd. I was looking through my messages and Instagram and LinkedIn, which I'm, I'm not great at, but I got a message from Di and just a little inquiry about, you know, my art. My official role is the Indigenous Engagement Manager. Anything that's got a filter of Indigenous, all filter through me. I also am the rap lead, so I look after the reconciliation plan. It was really lovely, we had just a conversation. She expressed what she was a part of, creating a reconciliation action plan. And they were looking for art that kind of reflected what they're about. So it was about connection, particularly to land and sea, also moving people. This is why I was so excited to do this job because I thought I know this brand and I believe in it. It absolutely matters. That badge has been in your psyche for all those years. Like, I don't remember our family not having an RMA roadside assist, and that is the truth. So that was the broad sense of what the artwork was to be about. The artwork had a pretty clear narrative from the start, and the symbolism that I use helped piece it together, almost like a bit of a jigsaw puzzle in a sense. I'm not confined to using a select palette, whereas in some areas, you know, you will see only ochres. My mum does a lot of ochres. Her life experience is very different to mine. I try to come from a place of what's my experience, what do I see every day? So my very first colour palette was based on the ocean and the estuaries that are here in Pottsville. The different style of the artwork, the, the colours of it, the very earthy tones, the black, the white, the greys, the design of it, and RMA were the blue pebbles and the brown pebbles were for our people. And straight away I could see Again, us standing on either side of that road, keeping people safe. So we talked about the transport and leading the charge in the Aboriginal way, through the artwork by storytelling. In 10 years time, we're still gonna have reconciliation because reconciliation is not a destination, it's a journey. We're looking back now over past 60,000 years, Australia's 200 years. So there's a lot, of, a lot of things that need to be fixed and I know that I can't fix them tomorrow, but I can be part of the bigger team to help that come faster. I get very excited when I go to a new place and see our culture represented. That is happening more and more and I'm so excited for my kids and grandchildren that they are seeing themselves and they have a place in the community.